dear learners welcome back everyone again now we are going to discuss about the part 2 of our discussion on political socialization as already we have discussed about the meaning definition and nature of political socialization now in this part we will discuss about the various agents of political socialization and you will be able to know the various roles played by these agents in the process of political socialization as we all know that political socialization is a continuous process which deals with all sections of the society so in this process of political socialization we all know that various agents like family school religious institutions peer groups experiences in employment mass media political parties and pressure groups impact of political system symbols etc play an important role and with the help of these agents political socialization transmits political culture from one generation to the other dear learners now we are going to discuss the agents separately one by one and the first and the important agent in this regard we may say is the family as we all know that the family is the first important agency of political socialization why because it is in the family where we learn everything from the very beginning of our birth till the end of our life we learn everything the basic knowledge basic things about our any system which may be societal may be political may be cultural everything all we learn in the family so the family as an agent of political socialization exercises both manifest and latent influences on the children from the very beginning of their life as we have already discussed about manifest and latent functions in our previous discussion so we are not going to go into the detail here and you all know that manifest means open and latent means hidden so family influence the individual to develop to establish their political socialization process secondly we may say another agent that is educational institution dear learners we know that every educational institutions have some definite educational pattern which greatly influence the attitude of the children towards a system because in school the teachers or the curriculum through with the help of the curriculum the students or the children learn various things about the their political system for example we may say that in our school or through the reading of our constitution we may know about the directive principles of state policy about our fundamental duties etc etc so with the help of this we may earn we may develop we may establish our knowledge of political system and ultimately it will lead us to the process of political socialization then another important agent is peer group or our friends it is a group of people approximately of the same age that means our friends so with the help of our friends also we may learn various attitude or we may develop some fixed attitude which is helpful for the political socialization process of our individual life or our social life in near future and that is why it is said that peer groups plays an important role in the process of political socialization through which they or an individual can learn many things about the system where they live then another agent of political socialization we may say that workplace related experiences it is known to all of us that where we work every day or where an employee works there also he or she can develop a kind of specific orientation 
or specific knowledge about the political system. For example, with the help of participating in unions, in demonstrations, collective bargaining and negotiations, and decision-making process of the organization where one works can earn or can develop his experience of political socialization because with the help of this process he or she or they can enter they may enter into the whole political socialization process or whole administrative process of the system then another important agent we may say that religious institutions we may say that the religious institutions also play a significant role in shaping, in molding the political socialization process of the individual. It is not the development of the present time, but it has been providing since the early time. And in the contemporary period also, we may say that different religious practices of different religions continuously molded political values in the society and they play important role in the political socialization of the individual because the religious beliefs or the religious leaders with the help of religious teachings can influence the citizens of their particular religion. Then we may say another important agent of political socialization that is mass media. It is very very important agent of political socialization during the present day society because this agent for example newspaper radio and television etc are very powerful media of political socialization and all these communication mass media of communication exercise a deep influence on the personality of the individual not only individual but also as a whole in the society because only with the help of media today various political parties party try to capture or control or attract the voters the citizens in their sight so mass media is another important of political socialization then we may say that political parties and pressure groups it is well known to all of us that political parties and pressure groups always have great role in shaping public opinion. Why? Because both political parties and pressure groups generally try to mold from public opinion in their favor. Why? Only then it will be helpful for their own benefit. And they play a very significant role in this process because with the help, by molding public opinion they try to influence the common people. Similarly, the pressure groups also by molding public opinion they try to pressurize the government, pressurize the administrative machinery of the political system in their favor. So political parties and pressure groups is another important essence of political socialization. Then we may say about a particular political system which is prevailing in the country. For example, in our country, we have democratic political system. So it also influences our citizens to a great extent towards the process of political socialization. So, and in this regard, we may say that different kinds of socialization can take place in different circumstances. For example, people will cooperate a political system if it is cooperative to the welfare of the people. In other words, if the particular political system generally wants to do works for the welfare of the people, then definitely the people will also be cooperative towards that political system, towards that administrative machinery. So a particular system must be a welfare system. It must be involved for the welfare of the people only then people will be involved with their activities. Then we may say the symbols, various symbols as an agent of political socialization. For example, 
द ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ बर्थ डेज और मार्टम डम डेज ऑफ नेशनल हिरोज लाइक महात्मा गांधी लाशिद बर्फुकन भगत सिंह सुभाष चंद्र बोस एंड अदर क्रिएट्स ए न्यू स्पिरिट एमंग द यूथ एंड इंस्पायर देम टू वर्क फॉर द नेशन सो इट इज क्लियर दैट इफ वी ऑब्जर्व द बर्थ डेज और मार्थेडम डेज ऑफ वेरियस नेशनल हीरोज ऑफ ए कंट्री व्हिच मे बी इंडिया और अदर इन एनी पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम देन आल्सो इट विल हेल्प द पीपल टू be politically socialized and it will encourage the people to involve or inf- inspire them to work for the welfare of the nation in this way various agents play their role in the political socialization process of the individual throughout his or her life and without having these agents this process will be a static one as we have already discussed political socialization is a dynamic process so to be dynamic it must be backed by these agents or it must be or these agents must play their important role for the benefit of the political system and finally we may say that no one can ignore the important role played by these agents the dear learners so far as we have discussed the various agents of political socialization and with the help of these agents generally a political system tries to politically socialize the people of that particular political system and this is the end of our discussion on part 2 and in the next part we are going to discuss about the various forms and importance of political socialization so thank you all